Welcome back. In this video, I'll review Ecovax's latest product, the DBOT X2 Omni. It's first with a squarish frame and an integrated dual LiDAR sensor embedded inside the body of the robot. According to Ecovax, this is a safe technology found in autonomous cars. We'll go through these features and more in this video and how these translate to real-world performance. To answer the question, is this robot worth the premium cost? I put it through my usual series of tests to find out. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get into it. The X2 Omni is the latest in a long line of Ecovacs robot vacuums and has some features I've never seen in their product line. The most obvious for me is a squarish frame. This design change aims to improve edge cleaning, giving it better efficiency than a round-shaped robot. One difference with the Ecovax design is that the edges are more rounded than other brands I've tested, reducing the risk of it getting wedged in tight areas. At first, I thought this robot used a VSLAM algorithm since it doesn't have a LiDAR cover on top, but it does not. It uses an integrated dual LiDAR embedded inside the body. These features has pros and cons, which we'll look at later on. The LiDAR system also doubles as an obstacle sensor paired with a front twin lens camera so it can avoid objects. Since this robot uses LiDAR, it navigates like one, starting the run cleaning the edges before moving toward the middle portions in a back and forth pattern. And the two pass run activates a crisscross pattern. It also has a mapping run, significantly reducing map creation time since it doesn't have to go through every nook and cranny. With the change in shape, there's also a change in the brush layout, with a side brush at the edge and an all rubber brush behind it. I like that Ecovax used an all rubber brush since it doesn't wear out as quickly. However, it doesn't span the robot's width, only measuring 8 inches wide, and there's a noticeable gap on both sides, so it doesn't maximize the squarish frame. Behind the brushes are two rotating discs designed to agitate and remove stains. It has a spring-loaded system, enabling it to maintain contact on the surface. Also, it has a pad lift feature, where the pads lift when it detects carpet. The X2 Omni has a do-it-all base station with self-emptying and pad washing features. It has a top-mounted 4-liter clean water tank and a 3-liter dirty water tank. The bag is located at the middle and has a 3-liter capacity. At the base is the pad washing element, where the pads spin against this plastic tray with these ribbed components to agitate and dislodge dirt. One unique feature of the X2 Omni base station is it has a hot cleaning cycle, which uses hot water to help clean the pads, and is quite effective at removing gunk. Lastly for this section is the power. The X2 Omni has up to 8,000 pascals of suction, which is one of the highest I've tested, and the airflow results back this up since it has over 24 CFM in the highest setting, which is premium level. The two biggest things I like is its mopping and pad washing efficiency. I tested this robot on two different stains, red wine and grape juice, and the results were excellent. It was more efficient at cleaning red wine stains, getting everything out after the first pass. However, it needed two passes to remove all the grape juice stains, but it didn't stall, which was an issue with other brands I've tested that don't have an agitating element. The pad washing efficiency is equally as impressive thanks to the hot water washing cycle. It was excellent at cleaning these filthy pads after just one pad washing cycle. The next thing I like is the navigational efficiency of this robot. It completed a two-pass run in this small room in less than 12 minutes, which is one of the fastest times I've tested, but that's only one part of the equation. Unfortunately, the brake pickup isn't as good as I'd hoped for a high suction robot vacuum. You'll notice bits and pieces of debris not picked up by the robot. Another thing I like is the mapping run, which cuts map creation time compared to a traditional run, since it leverages a laser scanning ability to detect walls without going near them. Vacuuming performance on hard floors is above average, picking up 99.44%, including the sand on hard floor test. Unfortunately, it wasn't as good on carpet getting a below average score, which I'll discuss later. One huge advantage of the embedded LiDAR sensor is the robot has a flat surface, so it will fit underneath furniture with a clearance of around 3.8 inches. But since this robot has a built-in water tank and a motor for the pads, it's nearly as tall as a robot vacuum with a top-mounted LiDAR sensor, so it didn't fit under this sofa. Consumers can use this robot as a stealth CCTV since it has a front twin lens camera. What I like about the Ecovax app is that this feature is seamlessly integrated into the main interface, so it's easily accessible. This camera also doubles as an obstacle avoidance sensor enhanced by LiDAR 
and it can avoid obstacles like pet feces, coiled wires, footwear, and even this weighing scale. One issue is its consistency. There were instances where it didn't avoid these obstacles since the algorithm lets it get too close. The Ecovacs app has one of the more complete feature sets I've seen. It has everything you'll need to manage this robot vacuum. Some of the helpful features include the live map, map saving, 3D map, containment, and scheduling. These are standard in most premium level LiDAR robot vacuums. But I'd like to highlight the Yiko feature, which functions like Alexa, enabling consumers to use voice okay, to control the robot. Add your service. Can you please mop the floor? Okay, start mopping the whole house. Despite the high airflow, this robot isn't noisy, only maxing at 67 decibels in the highest power setting. And it was at 60 decibels in the two middle settings. Despite the high airflow, the X2 Omni's carpet cleaning performance is underwhelming. It was below average in cleaning surface and embedded dirt in nearly all the tests. It was only excellent at cleaning quinoa, but not as good at cleaning other debris, especially heavy ones like pet leader. Another struggle for the X2 Omni is deep cleaning sand on mid pile carpet, only getting an average of 63.6%. This robot struggles with cleaning hair, only picking up 46% of 5-inch hair and 21% of 7-inch strands, with most wrapping on the axles. While the integrated LiDAR system works in theory, I've noticed several limitations to its functionality. First is a sensor location, which is at the front corner of the robot. Since it's in front, it can only fire signals in front of the robot. The 360-degree scanning isn't possible, affecting how it navigated during several of the experiments particularly when I placed it in an enclosed area for the cleaning tests. There were instances where it failed to calibrate and return to the base station. Other times, it went to areas I didn't intend to clean, so there are some bugs that Ecovacs need to fix. The square frame is more prone to wedging in tight spaces. It got stuck under the frame of this table. Granted, it struggled to move on this plush rug. There are inconsistencies with obstacle avoidance I already mentioned earlier. Yes, this robot can avoid obstacles but it wasn't consistent enough. I don't recommend leaving wires scattered or pet feces unclean since there's a risk of the robot touching these. Lastly is the high cost. This do-it-all robot vacuum will cost over four figures. Here are some random things I notice with the XU Omni while testing it. First is the bag, which uses a cardboard insert. One issue with this design is that it easily bends if you try to reattach it. Not an issue at all if you're using it once, but if you want to reuse the bag, it's something to note. The obstacle avoidance system doesn't seem to work during the mapping run, so clear any cables around your home before deployment. Also, the robot itself doesn't shut off the vacuum motor during the mapping run, so if you want to maximize coverage, use the lowest setting. So if you're planning on buying this robot, I'd suggest buying extra side brushes and bags. I've used this robot for a few weeks and the side brush bristles are bent already, so it's a good idea to keep some in reserve just in case. There are sets of these available online. I'd highly recommend the Ecovacs X2 Omni for a specific consumer, someone who highly prioritizes mopping over anything else. Its spring-loaded dual mopping pads are efficient with cleaning stains, and the hot water pad washing helps sanitize them, so there's no need to remove and wash. So it takes one maintenance step away, making it even more autonomous. The vacuuming performance on hard floors is sufficient for daily cleaning tasks, but I don't recommend it on carpet with its below average cleaning performance. Comment down below if you have any questions about this robot. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if this video has been helpful. And I'll see you in the next video.